What is up guys and gals, Psycho Sandman here. Lock it in, unplug your mouse. This is a how-to video. So this video is gonna be for all my No Man's Sky fans out there. Uh, basically what I'm gonna show you is how to install a mod properly. What website you gotta go to, where to put, what files and what folders to put it into. Um, so you guys don't have any issues. I've seen some people on forums having issues with some mods and installing them. So I um, decided to bring this video to you guys and hopefully it helps y'all. I, I beat No Man's Sky, made it to the Galactic Center. I have about three or four mods installed. So I'm going to show you guys how to download them and where to put them. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google. I'll drag a Google over here and just just simply go no man's sky mods and you can see i've already looked it up so no man's sky mods and this is the um website for it. i don't recommend nexus right now because no man's just came out so nexus is kind of buggy and i believe that's where most of the problems are coming through so just go to this no man's sky mods.com i'll link it in the description for you guys so you don't have to search for it and they have some, they have some pretty decent mods. Some of them, some of them are okay. Some of them are just eh, whatever. So what you want to do is you can search how you want to, but let's view all mods and then we'll try to filter it by top downloaded or something like that. Usually, I think that's how I did it. We'll do um, most downloaded right there. So everything's on the right hand side. So you got low flight. I mean, there's so many of them, and you can come through and you can pick pick which ones you want. So what I usually do is let's try to find one that I use, actually use. Oh, let's see. Da, 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 da. We'll, we'll try highest rated. I don't see one that that I've used yet. We'll try to get highest ratings here. You can use the flight stick now, so that's new. They didn't add that in. Uh, so we'll just use we'll just use this HD crystal. So I'll click on the picture and get a description of it. Um, basically, they give you installation. This one will give you installation, but not not all of them not all of them do that so what you want to do is just read a little bit about it you know textures are improvement over the original textures while still staying true to the art of nms so that's good and uh so he's giving you a little a background of it. textures are up res to the original 512 to two times the size so original resolution 512 to 1024 I haven't seen any noticeable performance deck degradations however keep in mind i'm using a 970 gtx so you know these all depend on all these visual mods and whatever mods depend on your graphic card it depends on the power of your rig it really does so if you satisfy this is the mod you want go ahead hit the download button and it's waiting for no man's sky it takes a little while I'm, i imagine there's a lot of people running through this uh this website right now so it's probably got a do a lot of stuff so now it's going to start downloading so it's going to take some time so 12 gigabytes so it's pretty it's fairly decent size um you can read do the readme make sure you back your files up i have files backed up always do that if i'm installing mods or something like that so now that we got our um our mod downloaded this is where my mod goes so we can just take this and extract here so it's packed. So what you could do is you could cut this and bring it right here. Because this is you want the pack file. That's what you want. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to find where your you want to find your um, No Man's Sky game folder. So mine is usually going to be the same place. Program eighty six. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Find No Man's Sky. If you're doing it through Steam, if not, then you'll have to find your uh, folder route. 
So No Man's Sky. Now, when you open No Man's Sky, this is where it's going. You're going to have three folders: Common Redist, which is like all your install stuff and things like that. You have Binaries, which is your settings and everything else, and just encoding. And then you're going to have Game Data, and then you got Share Shader Cache, and all this is all your this is all your cache files. Is what makes the game go. What you want is PC Banks. These are all the mods. These are mods that I have in right now. Some of these mods took many files, and they're packed like this. That's why you got to check it. If they're packed, you want to grab all of these and just drag them into this buy this PC Banks folder. So I took it out. I'm just going to take this and drag it over here. Drag it into PC Banks. Now it's in mod HD crystals, and you know it's right because you it should always be a pack a PAK folder. Uh, a file and that's pretty much it it's really simple guys and um, it it works this way I don't know about no I don't know about Nexus mod manager yet um, I'm leery about Nexus mod manager on new games because it's just there's so many things you got and so many hoops you got to jump through for Nexus mod manager so this is a simple way to do it go to your website Find the file, find the uh, mod you want, download the zip file, unzip the file. Um, mod just goes to downloads. Unzip the file, find your pack file, and then go into your program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, No Man's Sky, Game Data, PC Banks. Just follow this route. The main thing you want is your last folder to be PC Banks. Then take your, then take this and drag it over here, and then. Just drop it in. It won't ask you to replace it because it'll be your first time you're doing it. Just drop it in, and that's it. You can shut this down, and you can load up. You can load up No Man's Sky, and your mods will be working. So if you found this video helpful, guys, drop me a like if you would. It's much appreciated. Um, if you need any help or you have any comments or concerns, please don't hesitate. Leave them down below. I try to comment to everybody that I can. Uh, communication is key, guys. If you need anything. Just let me know down below and I would definitely try to help. Um, if you want to see more helpful videos like this or you want to see more gameplay videos, please remember to smash that subscribe button because I'm bringing them to you daily. Um, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Psycho Sandman and I'll see you guys in the next one.